As you know, if you've uh, stood next to a building right after sunset, and this building has been in the sun all day, you can feel the heat radiating off the building at night. Well, that also happens with thermometers. Parking lots and things like that, buildings, will re-radiate their heat at night and heat the air locally near the thermometer. Almost all of the warming that we see in the surface data has to do with nighttime warming. And a lot of that has to do with the proximity to these kinds of things, parking lots and buildings. Here's an example. This is the official temperature center, uh, sensor in Ardmore, Oklahoma, right here. It's on the street, literally. It's right next to an, the intersection. Here's one not too far from there in Perry, Oklahoma, and I happened to take an infrared photo, and you can see the heat radiating off of the wall. The data remains in the data set. And that's the real problem. We discovered in our surface stations project that basically 92.1% of all the measurement stations were affected by siding problems that no other cells considered unacceptable. These are all the three, four, and five stations. The oranges, the yellows, and the reds. 92% of all the weather stations we surveyed in the United States had faulty data being produced. That's a big issue. Here's how it works, and here's why we end up with a climate data set that's faulty. The homogenization process compares stations around it. Let's say this is the station that you're going to homogenize. It's got a jump, maybe it got moved, or maybe the instrumentation or whatever. So you compare the data with these stations all around it. Well, think of that data as being like bowls of water. Perfectly clear water is clean data. As the water gets dirtier and dirtier, it's darker, like a five. So what happens when you take clean water and dirty water and mix it together? You end up with more dirty water. There's nothing good about mixing bad data and good data. But that's what's being done here in the homogenization process. Stations are being adjusted using neighboring stations, and if those stations, and 92% of them, have been flagged as being unacceptable by NOAA's own siting standards, we're mixing good data and bad data. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and consider donating to the Heartland Institute to support more vibrant free markets, greater individual liberties, and more videos like this one.